Okay. Now, when we last left off, um, well, I just finished going through that cave. Uh, that cave. And now we're just gonna continue on. Our milk! Our, our bird should really just be like around the corner here. Hey, milk, I was hoping to, I'd find you here. I heard you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around there and help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? Oh no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Groot and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Huh? Wh who's that? He's calling for me. Oh, sorry, Milk. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Totally. I had to save my bird. Look, there it is. There's cheese. Premium. Can I do this? No, I can't. Fuck. Damn it. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Seriously, when I first did this, I thought those barrels there were explosive. So I was picking them up and throwing them at the gate, and I was like, why the hell aren't this just working? Then, I realized I had to cut through these. Tempted to skip, but shall not. Free! I think that's what the bird was saying. Can't say it's right, because I'm can't say I'm a very good animal translator. <laughs> Hurry, Milk, now that your loft wing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. Before you go, I have to ask you something. I I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? I would have just lied and said yes. It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling. Almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Hell yeah, I have. Some say that it's an empty, barren place. Or even that there's nothing at all down below. But I have just, I just have this feeling that they're wrong. So it's like a black, ab black abyss down there. Like you just jump down, you're gone forever. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a world, a, a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our loftings won't even go through the cloud barrier. But I can't imagine the wild thing. I can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday, I want to see for myself. <laughs> oh, sorry, Milk. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Just leap off the edge and press down. Don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you for sure this time. Are you sure? <laughs> I wonder why we have to jump off. Can't we just, like... Be there at the dock thing, wait, like waiting there, and the bird like comes and just climb on the back. I do believe that'd be much safer and much more economical. Whatever that word is. Ooh, ooh. Uh, free, free fall. Okay, call my bird. Milk, let's run the bird, your bird through the basics, just to make sure he's not hurt. You can change the direction your bird is flying by, by tilting. 
Wii, the Wii Remote to the left and right. If you want, when you want to speed up, swing the Wii Remote to gain some altitude. Then point the Wii Remote down to drop into a fast dive. So again, tilt the Wii Remote up, then point the Wii Remote down to speed up. What? Okay. So how's he handling? Do you think he's flying alright? Yeah. While riding your loft wing, you can press 2 at any time to go over the basic controls again. You can also press A to charge, which is an attack that gives you a burst of speed. Press B to slow down, try all these moves and see how you feel. Alright, let's head for the sun! Make it like Kid Icarus, have our wings burn up and we fall into the ocean. Oh. Okay. Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Milk, but your loft wing looks like it's flying great. My father and the others are probably worried about your bird, so let's go give them the good news. Yeah, let's go give them the good news. <coughs> yeah. You want to save your progress? Sure. Saving your progress. Please do not, um, whatever that said. Your loft wing really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy has gone has been through this morning. I'm going to fly back and tell father what happened. Can't you just walk there? No. No. Well, well, if it isn't milk. Word around the plaza is you found your that dumb bird of yours. Yep. Well, that's great because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the practice. Pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting for the race to start and, the delay it, and they delay it for you? I don't get it. The big flake gets all the special treatment? You're almost a man and you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I'm only 17. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? Don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Oh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Yeah, like that shampoo. You think you're... Whoa, whoa. Come on! Chris has been going on forever, but he's going to be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his... pompadour and a ruffle about her. Sorry, I'm scratching my eyes. Do I hear her? I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm going to be the one to claim that sail cloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way was I going to let some scrawny clown scratch that prize away from me. Oh, yes. That sailcloth, Zelda's sailcloth, will be mine. <laughs> I wonder what the hell he's planning to do with it. <sighs> oh, man, I bet she was thinking about it when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First I win the big race, and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony, ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. It will be our special moment alone. Nobody is stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real, I can... I can see it! Oh, yeah. Groost! Groost! Psst. Groost! Behind you! Right behind you! What? Can't you see I'm in the middle of... Yeah. Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? <laughs> she looks kind of Asian there. I, uh, nothing big, really. Just, just milk. Yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found that red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyway, later, Zelda. Look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. <laughs> Hey, Groose, wait up! Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Milk. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I hope you got the these guys. I know you've got these guys beat, and I deep down I think you do too. Yeah! That's the spirit, Milk. Trust me, you can win this. The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. I think I'm going to go back to sleep now. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Milk. I wanted to sleep. 
Damn it. Are they farting? That's probably inappropriate, but yeah, where the hell is that coming from? I mean, this, they can't be like jets, they can't have like this strap thing. I don't see anything like that that's like a tin can blowing out smoke. It can't be. <coughs> May as well just be one of those things you never ask about. Your attention, please. At last we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without milk. But luckily, that is no longer a concern. Hell yeah. But I'm glad you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. Wait a minute, that's a gold sky loft wing. Isn't that more rare than my red one? That's like the Triforce colors. Whatever. On my signal, press A to dash and dive off the ledge. Once you are in the air, mount air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with once you dive off the edge. Whoever catches the bird and claims a statuette with A will be this year's champion. Those are the rules. It's simple enough, I should think. But you will need to hear them again. No! It's excellent. As you know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. Only a step closer, so this isn't exactly knighthood. Then what the hell? He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it is also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. To celebrate... Ah, I see what they did there. To celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also receive his gift. High atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of this of goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. As you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by the lovely Zelda. <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. Just show me how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. That goes double for you, Groose. Hey! All right, gentlemen, line up. At the at my command, the competition will begin. Am I even ready for this? Go! Yeah, fuck you guys. I'm on first. Right. So basically, all we have to do here is head for that stupid gold locker right there. And I will probably fail this a few times. Ah, oh, crap. 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 I keep like swerving around it. Come on. Come to me. Come to Link. Milk. Papa. Oh, oh. crap. Come on. I'm gonna dive on this thing. I'm predatory. Now. Damn it! Fuck! Damn it! it said A! Yeah! I'm back here! I'm back here! Can't let you get away! Damn it! God! Keep going around it! Okay. Then I go, then I go, then I go. Come here. Jesus. Oh, crap. No control of my over my bird. Come here. I think Link needed a bit more practice. Yep. Totally needed more practice. Oh no. yeah. Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Ow. Yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you like to fly with egg on your face. You. Are you guys seriously throwing the babies from your own lockings at me? Ow. I may have just missed by a little bit there. Alright, I got it. That was much faster than the first time. You got the bird statue. It proves your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees this. Excuse me. Milk! Oh. 
Imagine if we missed. No one would have expected that. Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> Great fly milk. Congratulations. You won. Now we'd better get on with the ceremony. So this is the grand statue of the goddess. Milk, hand me that bread statue you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. Wait a second. So does that mean when they have to do this again, do they have to? Someone has to fly all the way up there to get the stat the statue out of the statue, just so that they can use it again and then re-offer it to the statue? I guess I'm getting confused over statues here, which is probably not important. Again, I am talking over cutscenes. I need to learn to shut up, which is quite awkward for me. A goddess guiding light and protector of our people. Grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during this ceremony. <coughs> Crap. <laughs> I should have gotten something to drink. Valiant Juth who grasped victory at the celebration of the bird folk. In accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. Hell yeah. Take it off. No, I'm kidding. Blessing of the goddess drift the blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft the sail, which I now pass on to you. You got the sail cloth. Now you can jump from any height without the fear of a painful landing. It smells nice too. <laughs> Milk, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? So does that mean she actually noticed anyone like da na 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 with like his hand up and everything? You know they say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. Uh, I've been working hard to finish making this sailcloth in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Milk. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? I will. Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today like you promised, Milk. <laughs> Is it sexy time now? Now we should really finish up this ritual. You do know what happens after... Uh, at the end, right? Nope. Really? Huh, I thought you would have figured it out by now. Nope, I'm completely clueless. Not this again. See that big round design in the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop right down, right down, right into the center of it. God damn it, I need to stop stumbling over myself. Leap over the edge here, right over you hit the ground, press B to open it up. Uh, uh, some, uh, just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, fearless, you'd wait until the last second to use your sailcloth. So, ready to jump? <laughs> Wait a second, am I in the center? No, I'm not! There we go. It's amazing how a simple little cloth like that can stop someone from taking <laughs> such a painful impact. That was perfect! You were amazing, Milk! Thank you. I know I am. I mean, I'm talking from Link's perspective, of course. Milk Link. Link Milk? The milk with the green hat. You know, milk, seeing as how you wanted it. And with the weather being so nice. You think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? That's pretty cool.
Milk. Hey, milk. Wait, I should I should probably not be using such a deep voice for a chick. Today was amazing. Watching you win the race and performing the ritual together. I'll always remember this. Nice. It was really wonderful. It really was wonderful. Dyslexia moment there. No? Milk? There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Zap. What is that? <laughs> Why is the artwork for this completely different? What's going on? This is seriously different. Poor milk. Link. Milk link. Link milk. Mink or lick, lilk. Milk, milkman. I'm waiting for you. Time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. I'm not asleep though. Milk! So close, yet so far. Ah, you're awake. When your lost wing carried you back, you were limp, limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you do not appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. But milk, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? Link is speaking! His voice... We can't hear it. His mouth is moving and he's making hand motions. He's speaking, but we can't hear what he's saying. <laughs> A black tornado, you say? That was no ordinary storm. <laughs> you must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? And now that you mention it, she was hearing voices. Let's see, she was talking about the surface then. And you've been having dreams about a great mission? How interesting. Ooh. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, Daybreak has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. Don't tell me what to do, old man. Rest now, Milk. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive, I know it. She could be dead. Are you so sure? can't sleep with all this going on. Am I going crazy? God damn it, I'm starting to hear voices myself. So right now, basically, we're just going to go follow wherever that voice is coming from. Which is there. I think her name is Fee. Because it's just spelled F-I. I've never been very good at pronouncing these Zelda names, so forgive me if I'm getting this wrong. 
back your feet. Wait a second. Damn it. Leave it at this for today. Yeah. Goodbye.